Welcome to the Creative Wandering Duo with Dave and Sandra Fisher. I am prepping the uh, patio door so that we can finish the trim around. So right now I'm just putting painter's tape on the wall to protect the walls from the stain and the paint I'll be using and also the varathane. Roll the intro. Here I am applying the stain. It's a very thin stain that I'm using. And so I'm just putting it on with a cloth, I'm not brushing it. I'm using a cloth and rubbing it in as I put it on. Um, it's very easy to use, but you have to use a well ventilated area. So the screen is open and it is well ventilated. This is the first step in, in prepping this raw wood. And we did leave it quite raw. So uh, we didn't sand it at all very much. There's a, it's, it's very rough in spots. So it will soak up quite a bit of the stain. And there she is. Painting and staining and staining and painting. I don't know what she's doing really. It's just what she says she's doing. I'm frosting. You're frosty. <laughs> frosty. <laughs> I'm frosting the wood. <laughs> that reminds me of that one young man way back when. It's frosting outside. There's frosting <laughs> on the trees. Yes. <laughs> from BC. I had never seen frost before. Hoar frost. He's yeah, hoar frost. It was white out. He come in to pick up one of the girls to walk to school with. And he says, it's frosty out there. Then we laughed and laughed once we understood what he was talking about. And then he couldn't understand why we'd call it hoar frost because he wasn't getting the right word <laughs> yeah he was hearing something different it's h-o-a-r whore frost <laughs> i just think of it as horror h-o-r-r -R. yeah whatever <laughs> A-R. that's it something like that something along that line yeah i don't know but you can see it kind of gives it an antique look. I used to do this ages ago when I worked in a cabinet shop. Same, yeah, the same technique. But you gotta have your paint just right. You can't just put regular paint on. No, it's it's no. a thin paint. It's it's very thin. Very but it has to be water based. See how it just wipes right off? And you still see the stained wood underneath. But it's not quite as dark. Yeah. And then this will get very thinned once we're done. So yeah, it's it's a multi-step process. Okay. 
So it'll sit overnight and dry thoroughly. And then we'll verify it tomorrow. It sounds like she's going to take you along on that adventure also. Oh, probably. Why not? They're not doing anything. There you go, see? But they better subscribe if they want to see it. <laughs> see? Look, look at that serious face. She means that. <laughs> it's all verithaned. I put about three or four coats on. And... Uh, ready for the next step of the caulking, which Dave will do. We had removed the painter's tape and uh, after I'd finished verithating and then realized that we did need it uh, when we did the caulking as uh, we didn't want that all over the wall because it is quite messy. So here I'm putting on the painter's tape while well, Dave starts to caulk it. He makes it look easy. It isn't easy. I've tried. And if you watch videos on how to apply it, they even make it look easier. Sometimes if you're making a mess and it, it's not going on smooth... Stop. The best way to clean it all up is to just leave it like that and go back after it's dry and use a razor knife. Oh yeah. And this is like a, a glue? It's silicone. Silicone is an, is an adhesive as well as a sealant. Okay. And then there's a wood joint where this where I'm willing are putting this on right mm -hmm. now. Yeah. To the aluminum. Yeah. Means as hell, we don't know where this window came from before. Well, we do, but we don't know how it's been treated. Yeah. So. You gotta seal it up. I'm just gonna seal it up, make sure. And we're also gonna use this as a uh, adhesive to glue this bottom piece down. Okay. know if you can see that on here but he's making a, a ripple a wavy line of silicone
You need weight on it. needs to be heavier. Well, being just how this is made out of such quality material, and I think it, it went like this. Yeah. It'll be fine. We could set another can on top of it. I don't think it's going to be enough. It'll be fine like that. Okay. So that that sits now until that's dry. Yeah, until it's dry. Yeah. Because, well, it, if we don't let it set and dry that way, then the outside surfaces will dry before that dries. Yep. So. Let that dry, and then you put the other caulking on. Yep. And there you have it. Then I hang it. Then I hang a curtain to hide it all. <laughs> yeah. To hide all my mistakes. <laughs> and there you have it. Another project done. Yeah. So. Anyway, thank you. you. All, thank you for watching. We appreciate it much. And just do all the things, okay? I gotta go cap some silicone and get out of here. Okay. See you all later. Bye. Stay real.